Hi, we're Tom and Christy Wittig of Doral Farms, located near Teeswater, Ontario. We run about uh, 450 acres, currently milking about 70 cows in uh, two D Lavelle robots. Um, we bought the farm from my parents. Our price band's uh, 62 wide by 190 feet long. This barn's primarily uh, calves right up to our far off dry cows or at the far end. Calves arrive here at about day five to seven of age. They move to a uh, robotic calf feeder and then they progress through each pen as they age. And we also in the far end have far off dry cows so they can be separate from the milk cow barn. We scrape and bed this barn about twice a week uh, and they get fed morning and night here as well. The Brightspan building was our first big improvement we made once we bought the farm from his parents. So that was in 2014, we were housing uh, young stock in multiple small older bank barns uh, where a ton of transportation was needed to move groups around. So we really wanted to try and focus everything at home to be the most efficient uh, use of our time and also the best uh, environment we could provide for our calves as well. Some of the barns we had seen, we maybe wanted to change some of the ideas they had had. For example, we put in a sloped uh, floor so that this is a self-cleaning pack. We've never cleaned out this building, it just gets scraped. Uh, so that's made it really efficient for Tom, um, trying to run this farm as a one person. Uh, and uh, it's worked out really well. We went to the 62 wide because it provided us uh, with enough width to get the the alley so we could feed with our tractor and mixer and it gave us enough uh, pack depth and enough for a scrape alley and we went to 190 long because we, we measured out how many pen spaces we need for animals to fit our current size and a bit of growth. So some of the advantages for us were that it was cost effective. There is a row of lights just above us in this barn and they are very rarely used. They are used at night feeding when the day is not long enough to provide natural light. So that's been cost effective um, while also meeting all of our needs. And so the ability to make it what we wanted and yet still get the natural light, the air, um, and it be affordable. It worked out great that it was our first choice of building and it was the most cost effective building. We would definitely recommend a bright span building to others. We've had many people come and look at, at this type of facility and I think they've come away with a really great feeling.